So you just ran an analysis and now you need to share the crucial data insights with your team. Looker offers two powerful paths to do this, dashboards and reports, but which one is right for you? How do you choose between Looker's two robust visualization tools? When Studio and Looker was released, it opened direct access to Looker Studio's flexible report building within the Looker interface. And now there are two data visualization tools, reports and dashboards. So when I wanted to build a report, I asked myself, which one do I choose? So I broke down the key strengths of each so I could provide a useful guide to you to help you choose. First, let's address the difference between a dashboard and a report when we're working with Looker. Looker dashboards are collections of visualizations modeled with the LookML language using data from your database. They can be built fully with the Looker API and they're used to combine visualization elements to tell data stories to your team or also to embed those visualizations into other applications or websites that your company uses. Looker Studio Reports, on the other hand, can connect to a variety of data sources beyond what's modeled with LookML. So both model data and ad hoc data can now be combined into one report to create beautiful visualizations. They're used for quick analysis, testing ideas, and connecting to different kinds of sources. The downside of a Looker dashboard is that it can't quickly be connected to those kind of ad hoc data sources. All the data must be modeled with LookML. This strengthens governance, but it's less flexible. Looker reports, on the other hand, offer that flexibility because you can connect to the ad hoc data and you can connect to the data model with LookML. However, when you bring ad hoc data sources and model data together, there's no centralized control over how metrics and dimensions are defined. And those reports aren't accessible to Looker's API or extension frameworks. Okay, so both reports and dashboards have great visualizations and both can help communicate insights. So what are the main things you wanna know when choosing between the two? Let's talk about why you might wanna choose a dashboard first. Dashboards use the business model that's built by your team. So this offers full confidence that you're choosing the right fields and communicating with the right metrics. Without this, metrics definitions can change from person to person, even within one data table. Dashboards are accessible end to end with code. Because of this, they're fully programmable. Once a dashboard is created, you can access the insights with an API and extend those insights using Looker's application interface and extension framework. You can also reuse pieces of the dashboard in other places, something you can't do easily with reports without redefining the visualization. So uniform metrics, programmability, and reusability with other tools are a dashboard's main strengths. Reports, on the other hand, can use a pixel-perfect canvas and allow you to choose from Looker Studio's wide variety of visualization types. Visualizations are flexible and they're customizable, meaning you can make your own visualizations, and they have a beautiful aesthetic. With themes, you can create beautiful reports right out of the box, and reports are quick and easy to build. Looker Studio is drag and drop, so everything you need to build a report is in one interface. And don't forget that you can use ad hoc non-model data in reports. So a report strengths are beautiful, flexible visualizations, the ability to pull in multiple data sources, and quick insights with a simple interface. Let's do a quick side-by-side. If you want the confidence that your metrics are uniform across the system, or to access or modify your visualizations programmatically, or maybe you want to use those components in multiple places, then you probably want to use a dashboard. However, to use ad hoc data sources, dashboards are not the right tool. If you want beautiful out of the box themes, or you want to include ad hoc data in your analysis, or you need insights quickly with unmodeled data, then a report is probably the better choice for you. But if you want programmability with access to code or high governance over your data, it's best not to choose a report. Now that you see the strengths of dashboards and reports, I hope this video can serve as a guide so that you can more easily reach for the right tool to deliver insights to your stakeholders. If you haven't built a report yet, try it out. Test it out with one of these data connectors and make a beautiful chart or two. Let me know what you're excited to build. Thanks for tuning in. I can't wait to chat again.